but I think back to June, July last year, my memories are all dark um, and very confined because we were in that enclosed space. We had a lot of tragic cases in the second wave. Um, I think the worst was a woman who came in pregnant um, and she needed to have a Caesar because of COVID and she was ventilated pre Caesar. And then, um, so there she had the baby, but she was never extubated. And she was with us for over a month, I think about six weeks. And she died. And we were all just broken by that. That was probably the worst one. But there were a lot of tragic cases. So emotionally, it's affected us, all of us. Uh, and we got a picture of her baby the other day, and it's just gorgeous, but no mom. People were scared to come to hospital. They, they didn't realize that they were so sick, but in themselves, they were too scared to come to hospital because they think that if you come to hospital, you're going to get COVID. Like, instance, it stand out for me, the one lady that we um, admitted on Christmas Eve, and she said she wanted to prepare her meals for the family first. She knew she was sick, and she never went home, back home, but she knew she was sick. She knew she was sick for a little while first, but she wanted to make sure that the family's been taken care of, and then she came to hospital. So they were much sicker arriving at the hospital than the first time. You know your COVID patients are very challenging. It really isolates you from your family members when you're in hospital because we also have to protect not just our patients but also their family. We became their sisters, their brothers, their mothers. You know, we, we basically became everything for them.